What is up guys, it's Josh with Deprived Productions and we are here with Pro Tools for audio design, sound design, and all that cool audio stuff. If you wanna make music for your for your website or your, your mom or, or whatever, but anyway, for my Project Torture people, I know we never really did this. We did like Unreal Engine 4 and Blender. We're still gonna do that, but Pro Tools is definitely the audio design and it's my specialty, so let's get started. Today we're gonna to learn how to make something real pretty really quick and learn a few tricks along the way, but there's a lot to learn, so good luck. <laughs> okay, but seriously, um, this is me right here. Uh, it's got like a little track here. It's an audio track. It's called Josh, because that's me, and I'm talking. And I want you to hear me talking. I'm Josh. How you doing? And um, basically, don't pay any mind to this. This is stuff we'll learn later, but no, no big deal. Let's jump in. Okay, ready? Let's go to track up here, right? And click new. Oh, yeah. And we got one track, right? Just one mono. Nope. I'm going to stereo. That's what I'm talking about because we ain't scared. We want it to be all the way left and right. Just be able to hear all left and right. Not just something in the middle, but left and right. Audio track. Nope. Scroll down to instrument track because it's not going to be something record. We record. It's going to be the sounds we pull out of the computer and use those to create sound. Boom. Create. And Pro Tools comes with a bunch of stuff. So here's your track and here's all these boxes that are either sounds or effects. Each one is something different. You assign them. First, I have to go to window. Go to window here, go to mix, and this shows your track. This is the input and the output. Here it is, right here, okay? We can double click it, but we'll do it in a second. I need to change this to analog output. And it's yellow. I know which one to click on, right? To make sure I have sound. Um, if it's on the other one, it doesn't have any sound. So now we got sound, right? Let's go back to window and go to edit. So window, edit, and mix is to switch back and forth, and here we are. So let's double click that and just name it test, because I don't care. You can name it whatever you want. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull our sound. So we'll click on this box, right? And we'll go uh, down right here. You got all your effects and stuff right here, right? We don't need any of that stuff yet. We just need a sound because, you know, it's a, it's a sound track, instrument track. Pro Tools comes with a couple of these, but I got all count of them because I like money. Um, Mini Grand from Pro Tools himself. And it's going to be loading that up. So there's the sound we're going to use. And we'll go ahead and let that load up. It's doing its thing. It's there. Boom. And we're going to right click right here. And we're going to open in MIDI editor. Dun, dun, dun. We got all kind of stuff. You're like, help. And oh, but, 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 but there's like a keyboard over here. So you can kind of see your notes. So I'm going to scroll up to about the four here. And what, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put a note right about here. Ah, uh, go to your key right here if you want and set it to whatever cuts you want. You're like, there's so many or there's not very many. And I've got it on one eighth because that's what I'm doing because I, because I like one eighth. I'm going to put a note right here and an E. And then we'll do a, um, let's do a, um, let's do a, a B right here, and then let's do an F sharp and a G. Okay, that's all I did. Now check this out, there's four notes there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this thing right here, and I'm going to take these four notes, and I'm gonna press Control D. Oh, it copied them, right? And I'm just gonna take this last G, and I'm gonna change it to an A, ta-da. Now I'm gonna take that, go back to the line, right? Check it out, hold the whole thing, whoa. The whole thing, control D, boom. And now I'm just gonna take this last G again. Well, now it was an A, right? And I'm gonna move it up to a B. So there we go. We've got these, this, little, this little melody. And we're gonna listen to it in a second. And I'm gonna take the whole thing now, because I'm crazy. We are crazy people. And this is what we're gonna do with this tool right here beside it. This little thing is gonna stretch the notes out. I wanna stretch them out four more notes to where there are four notes a piece. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. We got that kind of going on. I'm gonna close the MIDI editor now. Now, if you go to your track here, you can hold CTRL after you've clicked, or sorry, Alt, and you can kind of zoom in and out, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we'll zoom in a little bit, and we can see our mini track there. And if I press play, we're going to be able to hear it. I'm going to mute this so we can listen to ourselves play. So let's check it out and see what happens. Not too bad. Doesn't sound too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back in here, though. And I'm going to double click, right click, open in MIDI editor one more time. And I'm just going to take the whole thing now, and you don't have to get the stretching. You just want to make sure you get the notes themselves. Yeah, if they, see, if it, yeah, oh, it got them. And I'm going to control D that one, two times. So I've got it playing big old three times here, right? I got all kind of music happening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to the edit of here, to, the, to the, you know, edit the actual piano settings, just real, to make it, to make it kind of purdy, you know, make it purdy. And I'm going to change this. It's set to like, there's different reverbs here. There's a room. And I'm going to change this to amethyst. That's all I'm going to do. And now we're just going to listen. I'm going to press play. I'm going to, you want know, to press play and check it out. And hopefully we both like it. We're about to find out. Wow. 
Wow, I love it. I don't know what you think, but I'm digging it. I like it. It's like a piano. It's like you're in a, like a theater or like a, a, a the wilderness or, or something. The wilderness and the theater. But that guys, thanks for watching. This is it. Just something real quick to kind of open your brain to what you can do with Pro Tools in literally five, seven, eight minutes, however long this tutorial was. Please subscribe to the Deprived Productions YouTube channel. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. Um, this is the first tutorial. There's plenty, plenty, plenty to come. Thank you guys so much. All my Project Torture fans, thank you all. I love you guys so much. I will definitely be seeing y'all soon. We'll be pumping out videos, learning all kind of new stuff. Um, use this. Change it. Do some cool stuff with it, man. Get back to me. Holler at me. Let me know what you created. Uh, let's do this together, right? You guys have fun. We'll see you soon.